Hello everyone, this is Harry's movie. Let's watch an Argentinian drama Carancho. Sosa was a lawyer specializing in traffic accident cases. In this country, traffic accidents were the leading cause of death. On average, 22 people died in car accidents every day. In the past 10 years, the death toll had been as high as 100,000. Frequent traffic accidents have become a source of fortune for some black-hearted lawyers, thus creating insurance claims companies that use this to make money. After Sosa's lawyer's license was revoked, he was desperate and joined this group. He unscrupulously made money on countless traffic accident victims. The victim entrusted the claim for insurance compensation to a lawyer like Sosa. After receiving compensation, the lawyer could draw a commission from it. Even most people usually didn't have medical insurance or work, but this barely legal company still tried to get the insurance money. In this case, the company took the big head. And they also looked for and exploited people who were injured for various reasons to fake accidents to achieve wealth. Behind this huge chain of interests which had quietly formed a dark force of collusion among police, law and doctors was the most miserable British insurance company. Once, Sosa met the intern female doctor, Lujan, at the scene of a car accident. Lujan didn't know what Sosa and others were doing, but the ambulance driver she partnered with was a partner of Sosa. Lujan hoped to save the dying and heal the wounded, even to insist on working overtime to treat more patients. She did not hesitate to take drugs regularly to stay excited and relieve stress. But Sosa hoped to turn the dying person into his own customer. The frequent contact gradually caused the two to fall in love with each other. One day, an old man who was in urgent need of money came to the barely legal company. The recipient was Sosa. After signing the benefit distribution contract, Sosa let the old man drink some wine. Then he was injected with narcotic painkillers. Then he broke his leg bones with a sledgehammer. Sosa hid by the road after the incident. The old man pretended to be drunk and deliberately ran into a passing car. The ambulance driver had received the message in advance. So Lujan, who didn't know, rushed to the scene of the accident. At this time the old man had fallen into a coma, fractured, and accompanied by heavy bleeding. On the way to the hospital for rescue, Lujan found that the old man had lost too much blood, causing physical weakness. Sosa was terrified and panicked, to tell the truth about the medication. Unfortunately, the old man still failed to be rescued and died on the spot. Lujan had always been responsible for saving the dead. She gritted her teeth with fear of Sosa and the driver. The drivers didn't expect their usual methods could kill people. Lujan denounced the driver's selfish behavior, and she cut off the relationship with Sosa who was wrapped around her to ask for her help with the aftermath. For a long time after that, Sosa never showed up again. Until one day, the company sent someone to teach Sosa a severe lesson and warned him to take responsibility for this mess. Sosa came to the hospital after being seriously injured and appointed Lujan to be treated. Lujan did not refuse and tried to stitch up the wound for Sosa. Sosa said he didn't want to do unscrupulous things. But in order to get the lawyer's license again, he had to choose this fast way. During the time they got along, the benevolence of Lujan influenced Sosa. He just wanted to do something good to make up for his previous sins. So he gave all the insurance money claimed to the family of the old man. This was the revenge of the barely legal company. Sosa's repentance and renewal touched Lujan and she forgave him. It also eased the relationship between two people. Since then, Sosa had been enthusiastic about helping the victims of accidents not be entrapped. Gradually, Lujan changed her view of Sosa. The two revived their old relationship and fell back into the deep love. In the end, Sosa asked the black-hearted boss for the commission he deserved. Of course, the boss was not willing to give. But Sosa held all the barely legal company in his hand. He threatened his black-hearted boss and wanted to get back his own money. In order to eradicate this social pest, Sosa found a cooperating policeman and talked about the barely legal company. The police had long been upset with this black-hearted boss. Now that Sosa came to the door to complain which made him more aware that the black-hearted boss has the ambition to start anew. The police know that Sosa's business was superb. They were ready to support him in the upper position and slowly squeeze away the black-hearted boss. But soon, the black-hearted boss launched a counter-attack. He sent someone to beat Lujan as a warning to Sosa for blatantly grabbing business. Sosa was furious when he saw that his beloved was implicated. He furiously broke into the black-hearted boss's office and smashed the opponent's head madly. Out of control, he killed the black-hearted boss. Sosa knew the seriousness of the consequences. He immediately got up and prepared to take Lujan far away. But when they went downstairs, they found that the police had been waiting for a long time. Sosa's brutality just paved the way for the police. At the same time, Sosa became a puppet of the police. The police would not send Sosa to prison. Because currently, only Sosa could take over the position of the black-hearted boss. And the police's heart was darker than the black-hearted boss. He asked Sosa to hand over all the compensation to himself. He didn't care if the victim could get the money or not. Otherwise, he would send Sosa to prison immediately. Desperate, Sosa plotted an accidental murder. But this required the assistance of Lujan and the ambulance driver. The next day, after Sosa received a huge compensation of 580,000 yuan from the bank, he got in the police car to deal with the next case. Before passing the intersection, Sosa fastened his seatbelt. 
When the car passed through the intersection, a car suddenly rushed out and instantly overturned the police car that Sosa was in. The ambulance that was waiting all the time arrived at the scene in time and rescued Sosa from the wreckage of the car accident. Unexpectedly, the policeman was not dead yet and drew a gun and shot the driver behind Sosa. Lu Jan screamed in fright. Sosa hurriedly found the pistol he had prepared in advance and retreated while fighting back. The two evacuated the car next to them and ran into the police with a kick. Lu Jan was shocked and frightened, holding the steering wheel in her hands, and drove forward. When passing a crossroad and waiting for a red light, Lu Jan stopped and cared about Sosa's injury. She was distracted and didn't observe the road well. On the spot, they were crushed by a vehicle running through a red light. Two lovers who came together because of love and justice were both killed in this way, but they still cannot escape the clutches of fate. Okay, this is the end of this issue. Friends who like it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you next time.